Okay, so we have a very pleasant gentleman here today. So this is his first visit with me, but he's seen the dermatologist before. And uh, he actually had, had his first basal cell carcinoma when he was 12. So obviously if you get something that young, there's, you know, there's something definitely going on. I know, I know he's obviously fair skin, but you shouldn't even get some uh, like basal cell carcinoma that young. So when you do, we obviously think about other things that are going on. And this patient actually has a half-brother that has Gorlin syndrome, spelled G-O-R-L-I-N. And the nickname for that is basal cell nevoid syndrome, where patients actually develop uh, basal cell carcinomas before adolescence, before the age of 20. And they have other cancerous and non-cancerous growths. He doesn't have it, but you know he probably has some characteristics of it. And the main thing is, he's, you can see he's already had some. He's already had a few basal cell removed already, and this is a skin flap from the previous one that someone else did. So he came with me today, and he's already had a few. So he has a few that he's worried about, and they, I, I believe, they're basal cell carcinoma. So I'm just going to point out to everyone. Again, you know, you can see the patient's young and what a basal cell carcinoma typically looks like. A lot of people tell me that it will start out as a pimple, it doesn't heal, and it just keeps growing. He said this one only been here for several months, but probably, possibly in an average person, it's probably been there for at least a year, but maybe with his, what's going on with him, maybe it grew a little faster, but you can see that this little kind of this little area that's a little bit more pearly, is a little scabby in the middle, a little crusting. So we call that an ulcer. And then you've got this little area, and I'll show this one is a little bit more typical, where you can actually see the border. We call this like the pearly border, and there again, it's ulcerated. And so it's somewhat pearly. If you look closely, I don't know if the camera can zoom in, but you can see the telangiectasia, the little blood vessels that run throughout. So that's a basal cell carcinoma, it looks like it. We have, we're gonna definitely biopsy, and this one is, you can, even more characteristics. It's a little, a little bit thicker, and you can see that pearly border, it's ulcerated, and maybe a few blood vessels that you guys can see through the camera, I'm not sure, but that's really typical of basal cell carcinoma there. So we're gonna do a shave biopsy of all three, and if this one, you know, I assume that there are going to be basal cell carcinomas, and so we'll have to kind of do something. Some, if it's superficial, we will treat it with a topical medication. If it's a more nodular or deeper, then we'll definitely have to excise it. And so I'll keep you guys posted.